What's up everybody, it's Kyle from Growing Up Garden. Today I have a little bit of a problem. I went to pick myself some tomatoes so I can make tomato sandwiches for lunch and you know the tomatoes look pretty good from the back side. I, I pull it off and then look at this. Completely rotted out and that is because uh, these tomatoes crack a little bit on top and the beetles, I've been getting beetles going in here and uh, basically destroyed uh, three tomatoes. Oh man, they are completely rotten too. Look at that. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to try to use some neem oil and Dr. Bronner's salsa soap and I'm gonna spray that around the tops of these tomatoes just in case they do crack open that'll maybe deter the beetles from getting inside there and ruining them. Um, I've also had some problems with my cantaloupes. Um, if they're sitting on the ground, bugs like to you know chew on the bottom that's touching the ground. So I'll also be hitting those, hitting you know spraying those. I've gotten smart this year and I've actually put uh, plates or uh, bowls underneath my cantaloupes if they're sitting on the ground. Most of them are hanging from a trellis right now so I don't have to worry too much but I'm going to spray everything because I don't want to lose any more uh, produce to uh, bug damage. So um, I've got a couple different neem oils. Got the Dyna Grow Pure Neem Oil or Ganeth Leaf Polish. Okay. 100% natural cold press, no additives, simple to use, biodegradable. That's what it says. And then I've got the Super Clean Neem. And I've just got this thing of neem oil. Uh, these are actually the same exact oil. They come from the same bottle. This is like the generic version, I guess. That's what I was told. And then this is the Dr. Bronner Salsa Soap. It's a biodegradable cleaner. That's what it says. So I'm going to mix up a batch of neem oil. I'll probably use uh, one of these guys, the super clean neem. These are both the same neem, so. And, uh, I will show you guys how to uh, mix it up and apply it. Alright guys, so we're going to mix up a batch of our neem oil and Dr. Bronner's salsa soap. And we are going to need a little mason jar or any kind of cup you guys have will work. And we're going to need our a one gallon jug full of water. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix uh, two tablespoons neem oil two tablespoons of the Dr. Bronner salsa soap. We're going to mix that in this jar and then we're going to pour this mixture into our one gallon jug of water. So that is how you make up a batch and here I'll show you guys how we do it. So first we're going to take our neem oil. It's the same thing as the super clean neem, same kind of oil. We're going to mix it up like this. Now one, two, Two tablespoons and as you guys can see the oil and water does not mix we all know that so what we're gonna do to get it to mix with water is we're gonna use the Dr. Bronner's salsa soap that'll make it so it mixes with the water and that you'll be able then you'll be able to spray it on your plants nice and evenly okay I'll put a little more water in this. Okay, now we need our lid. And give this a little shake. Get it all nice and mixed up. Got our bug killing mixture right here, our deterring mixture. So now we're going to take this mixture and we're going to add it to our one gallon jug and uh, made a nice little funnel out of a plastic water bottle. Alright, so that's in there. Up. 
and it's as simple as that. Alright guys, so I'm going to be applying my neem oil mixture and Dr. Bronner's cell sud soap with uh, just a regular old uh, squirt bottle that I get, I got from Home Depot. So, but you can also use uh, one of those um, pump sprayers or you can use like a fogging machine but this is all I have right now so I'm just gonna try this out and see how this works so I'm gonna fill it up and I'm gonna go kill some bugs alright so this is the tomato that had all the beetles in it um, so you can see the tomatoes crack a lot on this for some reason this variety likes to crack and um, you, know, you can see the tops let me see if I can give you a shot of that yeah, they, when it gets ripe, they get in there and they start chewing away and then the tomatoes rot in the sun. So we're going to take care of these guys right now with our handy, dandy neem and Dr. Bronner's mixture. I'm just going to shoot some on there. Maybe this will deter them at least from eating my tomatoes. Because these tomatoes are really delicious and I would hate to lose any more. A lot of hard work went into growing these tomatoes and I don't want to <laughs> let the bugs eat them all. Spray the bottom, maybe that'll keep them from climbing up. Give them a deterrent. Thank you guys for watching and please subscribe for more videos like this and for more gardening how-to videos and we will see you guys next time so I'm gonna get back to killing some more bugs <laughs>